to do that. I don't know why I felt like I had to do it, but I just did. Apologies. You give yourself the next few minutes to watch this video, I promise you one thing. You're gonna get a strategy that I've never before released on this channel that's going to help you find more Amazon products really quickly. And the best news is, you're gonna find products that are not competitive in any way. So, all you gotta do right now is one of two things. Number one, click the like button, very, very important. And the second thing is, just switch yourself on for the next 10 to 13 minutes because this video is something you can implement today and get results almost immediately. So with that said, let's jump over. Let me show you exactly how to do what I call the mega list strategy. Let's go. One of the things we do a lot of is hobbies and a hobby list. We're not gonna talk about that today. I wanna go deeper with a hobby. So I was thinking about it and I thought, you know, one of the biggest things now to look at is, is our niches like gardening and stuff like that, but there's so many offshoots. So I typed this into uh, to Google earlier on just to have a look at this. And I haven't validated anything here whatsoever, uh, but I'm gonna just go and see what's going on here. So I went with mega list of gardening tools. Actually, that's not spelled correctly. Uh, sorry, here we go. <laughs> All right, mega list of gardening tools. We've got 53 types of gardening tools. So I just basically selected this and it brought me into this website. And as I went down, it just gave me so many ideas for products. Now, a lot of these are very top level, as in a lot of people will be selling them. Uh, but what we're looking for is something a bit more rare, right? And as I scroll down, like there's things like this one, I'm gonna come back to this one actually. I've never heard of a broad fork. I'm not a gardening expert at all. A lot of these we wouldn't necessarily sell because they're sharp and stuff like that. But what's interesting is just the amount of different product types that we could be utilizing even here, like a post hole pincer, I've never heard of that before. Some of these, you know, they may have item specifics to avoid or whatever, uh, and some of them will not, but they will all be good for research. A wheel edger, right? We'll come back to that one as well for edging, okay? So let me just scroll up here. I said I'd go with the broad fork. So let's put this into Amazon right now and see what comes back. So actually, before I do that, um, there are lots of ideas here, you know, broad fork, hand tiller, uh, tiller for gardening with wooden handles, right? This is the stuff that people are actually searching on Amazon right now. So we'll just search a uh, broad fork and I see 110 results. So obviously from a research standpoint, that's pretty good. And as I actually scroll down here, that's the one that we saw on the website actually, it looks the same. That's actually in range, but on the, the, the market looks to be on the smaller side as I scroll down because everything looks to be quite small. But here's here's an interesting thing. Like right there, there's a product we could go and take a look at. So even the broad fork, the, the, the market's on the smaller uh, size. That's a push seater. Let's open that in another tab. Uh, I'm just opening these in new tabs just so you know what I'm, I'm actually doing. Some of these, again, they will have item specifics to avoid. That's not so much the point for today. It's more just to give you ideas about finding more products. Um, this one here, is it not the same product? So even the broad fork, you know, there's not very much competition for it whatsoever. It does look like a smaller market, but it is still selling. So that's, uh, that's quite interesting. But as you come down, we just see lots of different ideas. Even this thing here, you know, a Wii control fabric. I'll actually just open this in another tab as well. Uh, just to have a look at that, because while these markets themselves may not be interesting, they may have a lot of related products where we're going to find lots of, of good ideas. So that's just a really simple thing. Even just with Broad Fork, we can see so many different product ideas here. And it's amazing there's people actually list stuff like this on Amazon, which I always find kind of funny. And even things like this, like, you know, that's not a great listing. Like the image isn't great, but it looks like it's sold. Also, not very many sponsored products at all. This is the only one that's sponsored. Um, different type of product. Again, Sharp and stuff wouldn't sell it. But anyway, that's not what today is about. So we immediately found this product. It's a, a garden cedar. So we can certainly search that. Good price point, not FBA. would interesting garden cedar 341 results that's the one that we saw uh this one right here six seeds up this is the same type of a product so these are both in range well in range actually looking really good scroll down same product right here uh, slightly different actually sorry uh, this is a uh, six seed i don't, actually there's just some difference different price point or whatever scroll down right look not too much more competition right all these are different like these are different products they're not the same they don't look the same so to me, I would think that's a very interesting product right there, this Cedar product. And we found it again from going back and uh, Segway searching. That's what we did there. So even if we can click into that one, and you can see also that a couple of things, this is not FBA, this company are selling it themselves. Good listing to their credit, very good, but there's no one else in that market. And there's two, uh, only two products in there that were both in a decent range BSR wise, so that's really good. 
And as I come across here, that's the other one that we saw. And again, like you can just see confirmed, nothing else here, but lots of other ideas, again, that we can research further. I'm pretty sure we've searched this before and it's not a great product. Uh, but again, you could go and look at stuff like that. So I hope you're enjoying this video so far. And a really quick question. It really helps the channel if you would do two things right now for me. The first one, jump down and click the like button. I know it sounds weird, but it really helps this video get in front of more people just like you. And the second thing I'd love you to do is just jump down to the comments and let me know if you're going to implement this strategy today. If the answer is yes, I want you to say, Stephen, I'm gonna do this today. And I will pick out a winner and give you something nice if you do that. I know it sounds weird. Uh, you can type in anything you want, really. I just want you to comment. So like, comment, goodbye. So that is very interesting. And look at all the different ideas that we're, we're coming across here just because we're in a space that's not as competitive. So that's great. So that's the other one. So again, similar story with this product. And that's just a good, good item. I like the look at that one. And um, that one's sold on Amazon by Amazon. Cool. Now, we also saw this one. It was a heavy duty we control fabric. So I don't really know what the exact search term would be, but I'm guessing we control fabric is something people are searching. I would have to, I'm not 100% sure about that, but if I search that, actually I can get a little bit of confirmation here because I see Amazon are telling me people have searched that before. Planting holes, I think that's the one that we were looking at. But we'll search it nonetheless anyway. And look at this market, it's very interesting because good BSRs, this one in particular is doing very well. And this one, because it's so low, it would tell me that it's probably quite competitive. So that one is a uh, garden weed barrier. So that might be what we search, garden weed barrier. We can certainly take a look at that one. That's a different type of a product, it's doing quite well. So that one, further research required. The product that we found though, is not showing up just yet. So that in and of itself is quite interesting. This is it right here actually. And it's 65,000, so it is out of range. Uh, it looks like the holes are a part of that. So if we actually look at, it's gonna be a very long tail keyword, uh, but we saw Amazon there were planting holes. This to me is too long of a long tail. Uh, we're kind of lying to ourselves if we think this is what people are searching. Uh, I would say it's probably weed, weed fabric planting holes or something like that, I'm guessing. So there, it brings it up a little bit more. And um, we're starting to find more of that type of a product now. It's 300,000. So this, this, this market's not great. Uh, as we can see here, all these are out of range. So that's cool. But again, we're seeing this uh, five ounce weed barrier. So again, I think we can certainly do a weed barrier. And I would imagine this is quite competitive, 976. So, okay, interesting. This is the product right here. It's a, f a five ounce uh, one. And we're seeing more five ounces. The And again, the top line, all sponsored. So this is going to be very competitive. And as we scroll down, we can see that it does look very competitive. Yes. So that one we wouldn't really be that interested in. But, 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 but remember, there's always items we're going to find based off of this. Like this thing here. I'm not saying these are a great product, but they look like a garden weed staples. A garden weed. Uh, it looks like weed staple. Staples. Uh, it looks right. And again, yeah. This kind of. Not the same products here, but that's it right there. Uh, doesn't look like anything else is kind of similar to that. So even though this is a quite, there's there's another one. I don't know if it's the same brand, it may well be. So yeah, these actually look like they're similar, just the, the images are a little bit different. So this would look a lot more competitive as you can see, right? Wouldn't really be that interesting of a product, but you know, cool, we're finding ideas. There's another different idea, like whatever. It's out of range, but maybe we can find products based off of that. So so the, the whole thing here was we started out with this spreader and we started to find more ideas based off this. And as you guys know, this is called Segway searching. And actually we get confirmation of how competitive this is because we just see uh, the same item over and over again. Whenever we see that, we know too competitive, uh, not gonna be a good market for us to move into. So that's like another little tip that you can be thinking about as you're doing your research. But there's loads more items that we can look at here that I, I think are worth researching further and uh, and basing our stuff off of. But what we'll do, we'll go back to our list just for a second because we uh, that's just one item. Uh, we'll come down here and have a look at something else. So I said I said there was a thing down here, I, I don't even know, really know. Uh, this one here, the post hole pincer, that looked interesting. Actually, no, it was the wheel Edgar I said I would do. So let us let me fulfill on my promise to you and do that one right now. We always wanna come back to Amazon Home and make sure that there's no subcategory selected here. And we'll go wheel Edgar, 951 results. So that's fine. And, and the wheel Edgar, like we're not necessarily looking for the product that we saw here. 
but we're, we know this is the type of item that a Wheel Edgar is. And as we see here, we can kind of see a couple of these products. And again, these are sharp and stuff. I likely would not sell these, just to be clear. But I like them because we can just use them as a research example. And it's very interesting. Like even something like this, like this is a, it looks like a, it's a landscape and lawn edger. We wouldn't sell this necessarily. But I mean, it's $349.99 and there's 63,000 in patio lawn and garden. So let's just say that sells one every three days. Like that's actually an interesting calculation. So one every three days, that means it sells 10 a month. Um, multiply by 340, uh, 349. So, you know, 3,000, that's still, that's still doing that, probably a little more than that. It's probably doing about five, 6,000 a month that of one product there is, uh, which is interesting even at that range, you know? So anyway, let's keep coming down and see if we can find anything else. So lots of these, I would say we're gonna end up basing our, look, look at that one, that's way out of range, but the listing is so bad. But you start to get into these different areas where these are way out of range for sure, they do sell, but we'll start to find some other good stuff based off of this and where i get excited with these types of items actually is in the uh it's in the segue because look here like we've got a pastry and ravioli wheel and we're nowhere near that type of product that's in our in our keyword you know so it's always good then uh with these products to even pick something like this that's in range wouldn't sell it because it's quite sharp most likely but just look at it you know What's going on here? Like it's so, ships from Amazon sold by this company right here. You know, this is making sales. It's, it's doing quite well. Okay, we have a sharpness issue and a safety issue. So likely I would keep away. But as it come down, it's again down in this area is where there's lots of different products we can start to find and go deeper and deeper. So even something like this, again, I can't see the BSR right now, but it's, it's good to open them up in new tabs. That's a good workflow to get used to. There's lots more products here. And we actually did a video on this product uh, lately. And we wouldn't go ahead with that one. So that's a great way to find more and more ideas. Look how bad that image is. Like we would not see anything like this in a more competitive category. And that's why it really pays to have lots of good segues um, that you can base your research off of. And that was the product that I opened up there, $24.99. Cool, sold by this company. Uh, shipped by Amazon, so that's fine. As I just wanted to see the BSR, so that one is eighteen thousand patio lawn and gardens. So that's interesting. And this is a, uh, a wire brush cutter. Uh, it actually, looks quite competitive, so that's fine. So yeah, competitive spot. But look, it's always good to research, and then you start to find things like this, and God knows, and then you just base your research off of this, and you keep going deeper and deeper and finding more ideas. So I highly recommend you check out stuff like this and just think about you know different categories that are out there and start thinking about what are different lists that you could search on Google, right? And just do that, you know, because you'll find even other websites will have more different lists. These look like Pinterest, there's top, uh, must have gardening tools. I like the ones where there's just lots of these. You could even search in this area, uh, different different plants that people grow at home, different vegetables people grow at home, and start to look at what are the ancillary products, what are the accessories based off of that that you could research further. And you can start applying that then to lots of different hobbies and categories. So this is just a way to speed up your research and help you get to some good products along the way. And I hope you enjoyed this one today. Uh, I enjoy making these videos. Please do give me a like down below. It really helps the channel. And also give us a comment down there as well. Literally, even if you just check in with me and say hi, it always helps these videos out a lot. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.